Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to talk about base href. It's uh, it's highly, um, I mean, I would say that a lot of people would have missed it out in learning or rather they would have not noticed it, but it's actually there in every Angular application. You cannot build an Angular application without a base href, right? Uh, that's what we are going to learn about it today. It's a very interesting topic because there are some hidden gems that you will learn about it. Um, extremely important uh, because you will not know it while developing it, but definitely while deploying, you will really freak out if you don't know about base href. We'll learn all about it in today's episode. This is part 39 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. I have planned around 100 tutorials for you in this series, including detailed live explanations along with live project. The notes uh, is in the for these particular episodes that I'm writing is in the GitHub link that I've shared in the description box below, as well as some of the previous episode links. I've put it in the description box. Please do check it out. These are the topics that I've already covered in detail along with notes for you. So make sure you please check out the previous episodes so you have continuity in your learning. If you have any doubts in any of these topics that I've covered, please do reach out to me in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to help you and clear your doubts. Today we are learning about base href. So what is base href, right? So it's a directive, right? And which is available in every Angular application, right? It is mandatory. You cannot uh, not have a base href. Now, the first thing that will come to your mind is, hey, we built Angular applications we have learned so far 38 episodes, but we never wrote base href tag anywhere, right? But still it's working. I'll show you where it is in just a bit. Angular application is a single page architecture, right? Which means that there will be only one HTML file, right? Uh, there's only one index.html, right? So what happens is all your um, routing, everything happens using a base href and then router module. It knows how to co convert which route matching, etc. By default, the value of base href is always set to slash. That means it's root, right? It's the parent or you can set top level root or public directory. Now base href is present in your index.html file, right? All Angular applications will have an index.html, obviously. <laughs> so it will, you will see base href in index.html, right? So let me show you that a uh, little bit. Before that, let me just talk about a little bit more about what, why it's important. So if you give wrong base href, right? If you give wrong um, configuration, you will see that it's not getting deployed correctly or you will see that your Angular application will not load. Because see, this is like you're telling which servers which root folder you are pointing to right where is your code is what you're telling it with base href i'll explain you in just a bit with some examples let's get started let me open some notes for you this is episode number 39 today we are learning about base href right so base res href right is mandatory for all angular apps Right, base href is present in your index.html file. Let's see that now first. Go to index.html, you will see this here. See this? Line number seven. This is there in all Angular applications. Right, what this means is that the project is pointing to the root directory slash folder of your server, which is running at 4200 port, right? That's what it means. That's why it is slash. Now, why is this extremely important? Because when you are deploying, right? When you are deploying your Angular applications, apps to server, right? Now not necessarily that you'll always deploy to root folder right for example let's say i want i have a website which says myapp.com slash i want to say app one slash i want it here 
under app1. So if you put only slash in base href, it will point to my app because you said point to the root, right? So in this case, your base href should look like this, right? For this example, your index should look like this, the your href. What it means is that I will add app one in front of it, right? Let me show you that in action. All right, so here we are added, we have added app one, right? So let's save it and it's compiled. So now let's go to the website. So you will see, now you see it is app one by default, right? Now we don't need hash strategy, so you can remove that. And if you don't give, or if you give path location, you can give path location you if you don't give it it is still fine i have explained that in the previous episode make sure you check it out so now see this now it is saying app one right this is my server's root directory and this is my folder name which i want to deploy inside so now all my code is inside app one right so see this is how you configure where you want to deploy and that's why base href is extremely critical right it decides where you want to deploy your app and that's why it's extremely important right now what are the different ways to configure it right so there are different ways how you can configure it you can pass while doing ng build now what is ng build why do we use we'll learn it little later not today that's for some other time like once we progress in the series i will cover that towards the end so stay tuned for that i'll teach you how to deploy how to build into a live server as well right so this is where you will give the base href you will say localhost like this and you will say localhost what is the port number or what is the app what is the folder name that you want to give so basically you will give the path of the server where you want to deploy this is how you will give options while configuring in your pipeline usually it's in the pipeline build pipelines all right uh, that's about uh, base href right uh, i gave you the syntax that it is this is how it is in the right so if you see index.html, this is how your base HF looks, right? So you, by default, it is just slash, right? So this is how base href looks like. And in your, it's in your index.html, whenever you have to deploy, make sure you give the correct base href. All right, um, I think that's all uh, I want you to know about base href at least at this point of time there are some advanced configurations we can do in angular.json file like here right um, deploy urls so i'll cover this little later once we reach towards the end of uh, deployments and building pipelines etc but for today this is all you should know about base href keep that in mind whenever you're building whenever you're deploying right cool uh, drop me um, if you have any doubts or queries just drop me um, your queries I'll be more than happy to help you in the next uh, episode I will talk about router module why is it important what are some of the configurations you can do um, how can you generate multiple routes router modules in your application etc little advanced topics so from here on we'll get on to little advanced topics with extending our knowledge um, that then then we'll start our live application if you like this tutorial, if you like my work, please consider please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash art tutorials. Please do like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.